Well, a lot of women that I've worked with have met their husbands in college and then they just pursue yeah, the relationship. Yeah, my point and is, why are they married? I mean, every woman wants to be married. Who wouldn't but want to commit? You can be too. Huh? You could be too. If I found the right man that was respectful. No, 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 ma'am. You're not a wife. Why? Why do you say that? Well, because you were with somebody for 13 years and didn't require marriage. That's why. So you think a woman should require marriage? I think wives require marriage. And how would she require it? I would love to hear that from you. Well, how she doesn't she fucking live with you. You're teaching she, me something. Because she doesn't, she doesn't kick it with somebody mm -hmm. uh, for 13 weeks, let alone 13 years, and live with a man right. without... Y'all were shacking up, right? Yes. You were you were pretending that you were playing husband and wife, but you didn't get the you didn't get the ring, you didn't get the social credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a ring, but I, I I didn't really feel like the ring was something that I could mention because if your mom buys the ring for you and you give it to me, that doesn't count. Right. Well, what kind of woman would be with a man his mama got to buy her a ring? Well, she bought the ring because she got kind of tired of the situation. What kind of woman would be with a man whose mama buys a ring? Well, that's why I'm not with him, right? <laughs> because that's actually what made me leave him. The fact that his mama would get involved. But in if that. a higher level man, a husband, would not accept a woman who would accept a man whose mama had to buy a ring. Mm -hmm. So you're not a wife. I wouldn't say that. No, yeah. okay. not all for that. You can't just say that all for that situation. Yes, I can. Oh man, 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 man. man. I, yeah, trust me. Everything about you screams not a wife. Oh my god, man! Thirteen yeah, eight thousand people watching this. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Ma'am, you lived with somebody for thirteen years. I sent him this video. Hopefully he's watching so he can be embarrassed of himself as well. <laughs> I'm not a wife because I was with someone for 13 years and didn't require to be married. Well, that's one thing. Well, you're not a wife. That's just an outcome of it. Were you raised to be a wife? Well, yeah, actually. I have a mother and father that were married. I was raised with a mother and father that was no, married. No, 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 no. Yes. Were you raised? No, your mother and father were married. Were you raised to be a wife? I believe I was raised to be a wife. Okay, if you were raised to be a wife, then how is it that you could accept a man who did not want to marry you? How could you move into a man's house if you didn't have his last name? It if was actually choose, my apartment. I don't care. How could you accept... Women who are wives don't go away with a man who doesn't change their last name and put a ring on it. I can agree to that. And that's what a part of my growth was, to realize that, to be honest with you. But if you were raised to be a wife, there wouldn't be any growth necessary. Well, you know what it is? I have to be honest, I'm an enabler. You know, I, I actually didn't take my concerns and what I wanted in life and put that as a priority. And it takes time sometimes for some women No, to it does, no, it does. No, no, what it, no, no. No? You, no, no, you were raised to be a single modern woman. You were raised to be a worker. I mean, you picked a man who was beneath you. He moved into your house. 2,000 years ago, would that work? No. Then why does it work today? Because you got a payroll clerk job? <laughs> payroll officer job? Wow. That's a fair question. <laughs> You're right. I, I can't even go against what so, you're saying. absolutely right. <laughs> so why didn't you guys have kids? Well, I don't want to have kids unless I'm married. And if you don't want to marry me, why would I have a child? So why were you laying up having sex with this man for 13 years in your house? I had a sexual appetite that I wanted to please. Mm -hmm, with a lower level man. Correct. Could you get a, could you get a higher level one though? Of course. Absolutely. Could you get a higher level man to do more than just have sex with you? Yes. You could get a higher level man to marry. Of course. I'm just not open to, re to relationships because I'm afraid. 
I feel like sometimes my stop, 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 stop. Stop. Do you listen to the bullshit that's coming out of your mouth? Because it, it should make <laughs> your breath sink. You actually just you sat here and said that you could get a higher level man. You could get a higher level man to have more than sex with you. You get a higher level man to actually marry you. So you're trying to tell us that you openly accepted a lower level man. For what reason? <laughs> I mean, if what you say is true, then why would you accept a lower level man? You could get a higher level man to marry you. I wasn't thinking that way when I was a young girl, but I'm a grown woman now. And it's what makes you think you can get a higher level man? What higher level man is what higher level man is actively vetting you to become his wife? I have many, actually. I have many. Y'all hear this shit? Yeah. What's this is the, this is the, this is the delusion. What's the delusion? What makes a delusion though? The you fact have that many. I'm How, no, no. Excuse, past, excuse me. I'll tell you. You say you have many high-level men vetting you right now to be their wife. Yeah. Most women. Okay. How many? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say about three. Uh -huh. How old is the oldest? Forty-five. How old is the youngest? He's about 26. He's not, he's not a higher level man. Well, I mean, no, there's no, college, there's no, there's no, 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 no. See guys, look at the hearts. Graduated college, 45. How much does a 45 year old make? About 150,000. What does he do for a living? He's a skyscraper. Say again. <laughs> oh man. Say again. He does what? I say he's a skyscraper. That's what I said. What does that mean? Well, let's just simplify it. He um he puts elevators into buildings. You know, a skyscraper is a building. Well, that's the work he does, sir. That's what he considers himself. That's the, the job title that he gave, and that's what I'm giving you. And how long have you been seeing this man? Um, About six months. How many children does he have? Two. Has he been married before? No. But he has two kids. How many baby mamas? Two. <laughs> right, right. So he's a skyscraper. Two kids, but two different women. And you're in New York? Yeah. Make it make 150, so that's roughly 75,000. Anywhere else, and then a 26 year old went to college. What does he do for a living? Well, he joined um, NYPD, so he's actually in classes for that now, which isn't a lot of money because they make probably about 45 a year. And how are you calling him a higher level man? Well, I go with the intelligence and how you treat me. I'm not going to go by your salary because at the end of the day, I do. I don't give a shit what you go by. That's not what the world goes by. I'm listening See, to you because I got on here to get some knowledge from you, you know? Well, so I'm well, listening to what you got to say. Well, all we got to do is look at your life. <laughs> you you make up your own definitions. Yeah. You make up your own rules. You call shit what you want them to. And uh, my question is, when you retire at 65, when you retire at retirement age, 65, mm -hmm. are you going to have your one point, well, your $2.4 million you're going to need to live between 65 and 85? No. You, okay. I'm then not who, even going to sit here and say yes. Then who's going to pay for you? <laughs> well, I mean, I have goals in life that I'm working mm, on. Yeah, ma'am, you're 37. Who's going to pay for you? I ask you, when you get to be 65, and life is on the way being over. There is no more goals in life. You're 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 a senior citizen. Uh -huh. Who's going to pay for you? No husband, no kids. Who's going to pay? Well, it's whatever I have at that point. What I've done. And when the time. money runs out, right? When the money runs out, and you can't pay your rent. What happens? 
I don't think it's going to get to that level. Oh yeah, it will. Yes, it will. See, that's why I asked you, are you going to need your 2.4 million? Because you're going to have to live for 20 years. You're going to have to have, pay your rent. You're going to have to pay your utilities, groceries, elder care. Money runs out. If you don't have enough money and it runs out, that means you can't pay something. Your biggest bill is your rent. When you can't pay your rent, what happens? When anyone can't pay their rent, what happens? They get evicted. Right. Then where do you go? I don't see my life like that. I don't give a shit. Where do you go if you get evicted? I mean, to the streets, a shelter. Right, thank you. And see, this is why none of these women foresee being evicted on the street. They're not gonna have the money because if you had a career, you should be able to take care of yourself because if you've chose to be unmarried, that means you've chose to take on the financial responsibilities by yourself. That means you got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And if a man was in your position and couldn't pay for it, where would he end up? Same place I'll end up, right on the streets. But, you, but why do men understand this and y'all think y'all, you think, so you can't honestly, so if, let's just say in my scenario, you don't have the money. Let's just say you have half the money. Let's just say you got 1.2 million, which we know that's not true. Let's just say you got it. Mm -hmm. You can't work anymore. Okay. Where do you think it's going to come from? The well, money. Well, that's what retirement plans are for. Ma'am, I don't care what you call it. it. It totals up to a certain amount of money. Right. If you got half of what you need, mm -hmm. Call it whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. Where's the other part going to come from? See, I'm not laughing. I'm, just, I'm talking to a 40-year-old woman. And y'all are chuckling like this is a game. It's not a game. But, you, just, but, but you're, but you're, but, but yeah, you're there's laughing. There's no answer for it. There's no yeah, answer. Yeah, it is. There's you mean no you'll answer. be eating cat food, dog <laughs> food. You'll be homeless. That's, you, you're in New York City. It's called the street. This world is not set up for average earning payroll officer women to live by themselves. Well, I don't so, work for a, a little company, so. I don't care. Did you make more than six figures? No. Do you make more than 90,000? Yes. Less than 100? No. You make more than 90,000 a year? Yes, I do. Less than a hundred? No, I do not. Then you make six figures? My love, I make 150,000. This woman, I just asked you, you make six figures. She said, no, you, you can, I you can get- I, it's, We are, we are, we are on Instagram and I don't know who's watching to be knowing my salary. I don't know, nobody gives a shit what you make, man. It's $75,000 adjusted. That ain't no money in New York City. No, I make no 75000 I make Rent adjusted, adjusted. I used to live in New York City and I know how much it costs. I'm in New York City every month. Rent, how much is your rent? Rent is around $3,000 a month. That's $36,000 a year. So you can make 150. dollars You still ain't gonna have enough money to live. You pay well, New York, you pay federal answer. tax, state tax, city tax. Mm -hmm. You're not talking to somebody who don't know what you're talking about. I respect and, what you're saying. Respect it or not, man, but the bottom line is you are choosing to be an unmarried woman out here. You better be able to pay for yourself between 65 and 85 because the government ain't doing it. There won't be Social Security. Whatever you make, whatever you invest is what you got to live on. And if you run out of money, just like if we run out of money, you will be on the street. No, I have this, a lot of resources. I highly doubt uh, that. Exactly. They always think somebody else. This is what. This is why I always think somebody else is going to pay for it. A lot of resources, but the one resource you don't have is a husband and family. And that's my ultimate point. You lived with a man for thirteen years and wasted thirteen years of building a network and a family and the security and the social safety net. So now you got to talk this shit like you got a career and you're making money. You got all these resources. You're just a chick with a payroll officer job. Congratulations.